so that when this thing that is prophesied come to pass, we will be able to honor you. That, that statement is a terrible statement. Because people are like that. People want to be honored. Especially when they have prophesied something and it comes to pass. They want to be mentioned. Or no. So and so prophesied. Or I will have a child. And today I have a child. And if you don't mention their name, it becomes a problem. And that's why uh, Manuel thought or no, Tanalibon. For when things have happened, tell us your name. So the question of what is your name? This angel or no, it is too big to understand. Very mysterious. You won't even understand. It is something deeper than a human mind can comprehend. Um, and indeed, he could not tell him or be honored by him. Mara, why Manua Anyaga is because in the olden days, people believed the lean alamut is everything. Your name says it all. You can come and tell us about the child who's going to be born, um, mysteries that are going to happen. As long as you are not telling us who you are, we have not started communicating. We will only get to understand the message better when we start knowing who you are. Like Karamadara. So, Horaori, Lina Lamut, the important. And today, I'm going to leave some names, no Bible names. And maybe two names. And see how a name can affect a person's life. You know, because a name can affect a person's life. Before we go further, do you know the meaning of your name? Do you know the meaning of your name? Anybody know? Anybody? Yes, no. What is the meaning of your name? If, if we are struggling to go live, let me know. No? Because I thought we'll go on the same. Okay, that's fine. Because it's a distraction. Okay. Person says no. Another person says no. I don't know. No. Okay, that's it. Okay, that's it. What, what, what's the meaning of your name? Thank you. Kanti Linda is not English. Uplinda is Zulu. Oh, that's actually a Zulu name. So, Mabati, you are Linda Ulindeng. Or Umama Ulindile, before you came. My Ovab Kundis, Lisa Malay, and Lintan's mind. Mobas in Tunzamia, the Hambega, the young Tintin, Lindeng is all in Dan Tirunin. Eh, yes. Can that remind you, Zulu? I'm still asking her now. Who, who is waiting here? Is it you? Is it Mama? Because sometimes they give you a name because they will tell you Mama was waiting. Before they could have you, they waited long. So, who waited? Yes. Oh. If it was uh, the mother is Lindy. Mm. Abati Lindy was the one we were waiting for. Okay, any other person who knows the meaning of their name? Baby Sangani. What are they? Dilinda. Baby Sangani, what are they ruling with? Oh, Babu Shakai. I was given by my grandmother. What was the message? After that, it's a question. A question, it's like, I cannot be defeated or denied by anything. So we are from a royal family. 
from my grandfather's side. Then they said, no, the question would be, what are they ruling with? When they say, what are they ruling with? Uh, okay, you cannot be defeated, but you carry. Una leba toba Gracia. Lubuza ga noa, you are using a snake or you are using powers. Uh, what are you using to rule the people? I think that is how I, I, I understand it. So it's like there are people who are being addressed. Or what are you ruling with? Baby Sangani. Oh, what are, what are they ruling with? Yes, yes. You cannot be defeated, I don't believe. <laughs> if we can be get the day, then we will be fine. But I think there's something deeper than that. Um, the Busangani. The Busangani. It's a question. Yes. Because when you write your name, you put a question mark. Yes. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, but now the rest of your life you are asking or Baby Sagai. Yes. Because then the answer would be Tibushaka Grace. That would be my response. Oh wow. It can't be. You are the one <laughs> asking the question. You are the one asking the question. Every time when you're calling, you say, You can't answer and say hi because that's not you, it's them. And that's the only name. Kimnida. Which means? I was told that it talks about what? In Indian earrings, something like a jewel. Jewelry. Yes. We are not live, no? Huh? Hope you are not live. I can say something. <laughs> yeah, but th the truth is, some of these names, our parents just loved these names. Honestly. Honestly. Zero months, because they were working for Peter. Uh, and sometimes they will use names to try and address someone. Uh, that, is, that is not too good for us. Any other person who knows the meaning of their names? Greetings, Bazagan. Uh, my name is Noma Josie. And then when I ask, they say the one dedicated to their ancestors. No, I tell you, did ah, you didn't change it? Um, only in a spirit way, but yeah. Ah, <laughs> no, Matos, who is born again? I thought that was a little bit more to have it. And everywhere you go, more to have it, more to have it, more to have it. Your name speaks of your destiny. Imagine, no trouble with you. Other people already know. Hey, and that's the only name. Uh, Emily. But why did they give you that name? Um, before my mother um, was born again, I think uh, she was supposed to be initiated. So from maternal and paternal side, I come from the ancestral family. Okay. So yes, I think. Uh, and then uh, when I ask her uh, why she named. Uh, she named me Noma Josie, and then uh, she said that when she po she she cons uh, when she had me, like when she was still pregnant, she faced some uh, spiritual challenges. Okay. And I think maybe that's the agreement or the vow that she made with the ancestors, that when the one this one is born, I'm going to dedicate her to to the ancestors. Yeah, that is deep. It is. Today you are in the protocol of the church. Could you are going to be in the protocol of <laughs> but God is good. Yeah, but that name is deep. That name is quite deep. 
Okay. Um, Will allow we fine. This one. Okay. Now, any other? Maybe the last person. You know the meaning of your name, because maybe if we go into this, you might never speak. <laughs> you know the name. The meaning of your name, Kia. Is it Kia? Kia Beitsui. You are given. Yes. No. According. According. Yes. I see Elaya Horiki Abeitz. I see Sabelo. Okay. And it's funny because Nikki was sharp, Papa, and I care why was I named Kiabit? I review, we had the name Dineo and Kiabit for you. And then your granny was like, they knew some girl in the village who was Kiabit because I was born in the village, Golden Bob. Yeah. And Dineo, man, I meant. So Dineo, Kari Barna, Twenya, and all of that. So my granny was like, mm -mm, rather close this Dineo and take Kiabit. But what does what does mean? Because according to how I personally translated I took over from Sama. It's like Sabel in Zulu. I don't know. It's we are given. We are given this gift. Okay. I don't want to interrogate people's names. <laughs> yeah, because people give you names based on how they understand it. Yeah. Any other person? Do you have names? Okay, yeah. yes, sir. Uh, my name is Tawanda. Tawanda. Okay, that's my first name. And when I asked my parents, they said uh, most of their brothers, my father was the firstborn and they had eight brothers. Yes. But from these eight brothers, they didn't have kids. They, they didn't have kids. Yes. But they were struggling to have kids. Now, yes. when I was born, they named me Tawanda, meaning we are many. Sure. We are going to be many. We are, we are going to be many. Can we have a bit of volume? I see that we need volume, NG. Sure. Okay. So we are going to be many. Yeah. Tawanda. That's Zulu. Yeah. Sianda. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So, and you are many now. All right. Is there the last one who wants to say something? Your name, the impact of names. Kamo Jerusalem maina wana. Kipoteo. Uka ipoteo. Poteo, why did they call you Poteo? Place a mic next to you. My my name means faithfulness. It means faithfulness. Who, who's faithfulness? Your faithfulness? Yeah. Or the faithfulness of God? What <laughs> 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 God when? Okay. Yo, yeah, ne? Maybe because of time, let's take this character. There is this woman called Tamar in the Bible. Tamar appears four times in the Bible. The first time you see Tamar, it's mentioned as the name of the place. Tamar is the name of the place. Tamar, T-A-M-A-R, is the name of the place. You find that in Ezekiel 37, verse 19. I wish some, that person who reads for me can be quick to read for me when I ask, because Tamar was the name of the place. Um, even though some scholars were it was not supposed to be called Tamar, it was called to be called Tadmo, but it's Tamar. You find the name Tamar as the name of the place. The next time when you find the name Tamar is in Genesis 38, verse number 6. That's where we find the name Tamar. Who is this Tamar in the book of Genesis? Tamar, Ketar Ineli. Uh, Makoti Wamhala be Judah, or the old man Judah. Tamar was married to the firstborn son of Judah. And the firstborn son of Judah died. She got married to the secondborn of Judah. Unfortunately, he also died. And Judah made a promise to Tamar. And he said to her, if this one dies, you will be married to Sheila. Sheila was the third born of Judah. It's a promise. 
And the second born died. Then Judah decided not to hand over this woman to the third born. You see now, he's breaking the promise to this woman called Tamar. But then Tamar was not happy. If you look at chapter 38, verse 12, especially from verse number 12 to verse number 8, she was not happy of the fact that Judah is not keeping his promise of giving her to the third born son. I don't know what was going on with Tamar. Because somehow Tamar, this man she was meeting, they died. And she continued living. So Tamar, one day, one day she heard that the grandfather, the father-in-law was going to Timna. Timna um, was a place where they were keeping their sheep. And there was a time to shear the sheep. When it was during that season, so the grandfather would go down to Timna. Tama knew, okay, now that he's going to Timna, I'm going to come up with a plan. And at that time, Tama was wearing the upper so like Jabuido. She removed those clothes. She removed those clothes uh, para like a prostitute and covered the face somehow, Mara dressed like a prostitute. Adula somewhere where she knew her. Judah will pass here. And when Judah passed, Judah saw Tamar. And all he saw was a prostitute who had a shrine. You know what is a shrine? Like a who are worshipping other things. But there was a shrine of prostitutes. Apparently, in the olden days, prostitutes had shrines. They would have a small anyana rumba, zbarumola, kiaha prostitute. So Judah was interested in this woman. Judah went in and he said to this woman, sleep with me. And this woman said to Tamar, to, 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 to Judah, I can do it, but what are you going to give me? I don't know, I can give you a goat and, and blah, blah, blah. Then this woman said, no, it's okay. Give me something like a wristband, or I don't know whether it's a necklace as well. Give me something tangible. Then, you know, it's okay. He removed those things. He gave her, but he promised, or I'll come back tomorrow or after three days and give you a goat and whatever that you require. Three days later, Judah then sends people to that prostitute, when he got there, they got there, they found that the shrine is no more. And then this man started asking people of the city, prostitute there is no shrine of a prostitute here. We have never seen that. If you follow that story, Judah said, it's okay. Anyway, I send you there to go and give, him, give her the goat and she is nowhere to be found. So it's not my fault. Or Kishap, because I'm my little Kante, this woman is pregnant. Tamar is pregnant at that time. Three months later, what a message to Mukhalabi Judahori. Your let's say Mijan, daughter-in-law. Your daughter-in-law is practicing prostitution. She is pregnant. And the Bible says, Judah said, take her out and stone her, and will burn her by fire for what she did. When she was dragged out of the city to go and be burned, she produced that wristband. Yes. Are, <laughs> are the one who did this thing to me is not prostitution. He is the owner of the wristband. And when Judah saw the wristband and whatever that he gave her, Judah realized, that, yo, that means it's me who did this thing. And the death sentence was suspended. She gave birth later, and life went on. But if you follow that thing, you will realize that the Bible says Tamara was very beautiful. Even when she went to the street to try and disguise as a prostitute, no wonder Judah looked at her with lustful eyes. Tamara was very beautiful. The Bible will tell you that. And she knew that she was beautiful. So she was doing these things of tricking the old man, knowing that she was beautiful. But you also hear that she was paying a revenge or she was angry, wanting to punish this man. Because for a man to sleep with a daughter-in-law, it was a taboo. And to even come with a wristband, the one who did this thing is the owner of this thing in front of the people. It was an embarrassment. She wanted to embarrass the old man because he did not hand over this woman to Sheila. 
But Judah, Judah, Judah is the grandfather of David. You know this. We say he is the lion of the tribe of Judah. So Judah is the grandfather of David. David comes from Judah. He is from the bloodline of Judah. Tamara also is from the bloodline of Judah. Then you follow that story. The next thing you see a woman there, a prostitute in that family by the name of Rehab. Rehab also comes from that lineage. You know that. You know that she was not that of a foreigner. She comes from that lineage. But I'm not here for Rehab. Then David gets married. David starts having children. Amongst these children, Abalungwana are Absalom. Absalom after Absalom, Abalungwana are Tamar. Many years later. So Absalom and Tamar, they were sharing a mother. Remember, he had many children. But Absalom and Tamar, they had uh, the, the same mother. Mar Absalom wo le Tamara, in, in 2 Samuel 13, verse 1 to 32, that's where the story is. You find it also in 1 Chronicles 3, verse 9. Tamara, oh, baby, she was very beautiful. How many years later? Over 70 years later. There is another Tamara in the same family. Now this one is the daughter of David. She was what? Beautiful. Beautiful. But don't forget, something I needed to tell you. The word Tamara means palm tree. It also means a fruit. So if I was to translate it to my language, I would say Tamara is something to be eaten. So whenever they call you Tamar, you are like a fruit that is appetizing. And you can be violated because of the name. So Tamar is beautiful and should be violated in a way. And maybe it started because of the first Tamar who slept with all these men who were dying and Tamar instituted a curse by sleeping with her own father-in-law. It was wrong to do that. But then the next Tamar, because she's also a fruit, what happened to the first Tamar might happen to her. This one is Tamar, the daughter of David, the most beautiful. I will tell you she was. Because the Bible says, until her own brother Aminon looked at her with lustful eyes. Amen. To a point where Aminon got sick. Uh, I don't know what kind of beauty was that. To a point where Mutuwa Rola Kamapa he saw Alwa La Abulaki love sick of her own sister. But that was a blood sister. Because they were sharing the father. Until a friend said, my friend, I must have her. No, it's simple. Act like you're sick and tell your father to ask Tamar to come and give you food. And when she comes and give you food, grab her, rape her. And indeed, I told her, David, what's wrong with you, Aminon? I don't know, I'm sick, I've got a problem, I'm sick, but I need somebody to help me. What do you need? Tell me what you want, I'll tell you. I want my sister Tamar to come and give me, to come and cook something nice for me here in my room and give it to me so I can eat from a hand. Oh, David, you are keeping another mood. I did to him. Tamara, remember Tamara because she was a virgin. She was very dear Parajama virgin. She walked in there. I mean, there's no, you can't suspect anything. It's my brother. Then she started cooking. While she's cooking, alo alo mutakao. Umulivelech. <laughs> or today is today. And she cooked to them. The next day, I'm afraid you are not come and give me in bed. Then, indeed, Tamara, because it's a brother. Then Tamara brought the food and he grabbed her and sleep with me. Yo, I'll sleep with me, Tamara. No, this cannot be done. Why don't you talk to the king? He can give me to you, official, not this thing that you want to do. You can't, don't. And Bevelin, because he was stronger than her, he raped her. After raping her, Tamara left that room. She had to remove her virginity clothes. And then the first person that saw her was the brother, which is Absalom. Absalom saw her, and Absalom knew what the other brother did. And to cut the story short, after two years, Absalom killed Aminon for what he did to Tamara. Unfortunately, 
And this worries me. Because in 2 Samuel 14, verse 27, the same Absalom who killed, who killed who? Aminon, had a daughter. And he gave her another name. Somebody read this verse. 2 Samuel 14, 27. I'm talking about the Absalom now. The brother to who? To Tamar. In the next generation, he had sons, three sons, and how many daughters? One daughter. Second Samuel 14, verse 27. And unto Absalom, mm -hmm. there were born three sons yes. and one daughter. Wait, 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 wait. So, Absalom, this Absalom, the one who saw this thing, who saw Tamar, her own sister, there were only two. It was only him and Tamar. He now had three sons and one daughter. And what did he name the daughter? Whose name was Tamar. She was a woman of fair countenance. She was a beautiful woman. She had. Now this is the third or fourth generation Tamar. But this fourth, fifth generation Tamar looks like a grand, grand, grand uh, Tamar. Grand, granny, grandmother. What is her name? Tamar. Yeah, she looks like the Tamar of the book of Genesis. She's also fair and beautiful. And you follow the history of this woman. You don't get much. But some books will tell you that even the daughter of Absalom was raped. So every Tama who was born was called fruit. And if you are called fruit... Why should we ask you for permission when we want to violate you? Do you ask your bananas in the fridge, can I eat any of you? And they lift up their hands. No, you just pick any banana, you, you chow it. And it can't tell her, no, I don't want. That name, Leena Leli Vi, that name says you have no right to say anything. The other person has a right to come and do what they want to do in your life. So, Tabalina, I feel a little more. Naki won't have a life, Fedija Jesso Fela in that family. If Fedija Jesso Fela, because the Tama continued. So, Rar Tabaya of Abato Maina after the grandmothers. I told me more about Ravans. It has always been there. And maybe if you were to ask Absalom, why do you call your daughter Tama? You know, he will say, No, I only had one sister. And I want the name of my sister to continue. Renaba Tobans, can or kill him on Nassau, Bofelina, Lamhegul. Oh, in the quiet, we jabo, but born. Barbum Mabati, long to Mahalaveso. Aula Tiva, Hanimaho. A barbum massiva, or Rolo Ulum Sadiva with Mahalab, Rahuluarna Titi, and then Oats and Abarno, Krahulu Tile. This is us. If you don't know this thing, you are white. Ne? Eh, then of it about Rahulu Sufitile, or Mahalaveso Sufitile, by a woman. Why do they do that? They say we want that legacy, even the name, to continue. But unfortunately, when you give a child a name, it is not just a name. In most cases, you are transferring the spirit of that particular person in this child because it goes with the name. Nobody can come here and tell me, Lina is just a name. It's never just a name. When you are given a name, it's a name that you have I met a lot of people. But meet don't know these things. The rice that they named after was also drinking like this and sleeping with boots like this. And the funny thing is that sometimes if they give you a name of somebody who was never married, you don't get married. I met somebody who told me, oh, no, the person I was named after was very clean, very clean, but never, never got married. But you look at her, she's also very clean, but there's no marriage. And, and, and whatever that person was doing, it follows you, unfortunately, until Ukopanali grace. So the name carries a lot of weight in your life. So if you miss the issue of the name, You've missed everything. That's why when people come to God, aren't you God when he wants to use people for great impact? You cannot be the mother of nation when you are Sarah. You must be Sarai. 
in order for you to qualify to be the mother of the nation. Why is God not just using this woman without transforming her and even changing her name? Because God knows her, the name is power. You can't be the father of nations when you are just a Jacob. You must be called Israel. Why do we call Israel? Because as we call you Israel, we are prophesying that out of you great nations are coming. Amen. You cannot be a cheater because Jacob was a cheater. You can't be a cheater and still be a father of the nations. So God had to transform his name. You can't be Abraham and be the father of nations. You must be Abraham. Why is God changing your name? Because your name has everything to do with your destiny. I usually hear people say, no, Lina does not matter. It matters how much you work. As you born, relax. Renardi wana kame itali lo jeore. Motu hata na mola, kabari king uri no, kina, kina mpola ye. And then what's going on? I miss the accident every month. When people meet me, no bad, I'm just beaten by people without knowing why they are beating me. People, when they look at me, they just want to fight me. They just want to kill me. And the name keeps on saying, Mpula A. Pela, when you call, you kill me. Mpula A, kill me. Everywhere you go, the name keeps on saying, this one must be killed. This is a prophecy. And they happen in real life. Boom, blind, they ended up killing them. They die or go naing. They die and nobody knows where they died because the name says you are going to die somewhere in the streets without anybody having to know where you died. Your name has an impact. Tell me, Vazalon. Tell me. Maybe let's talk to somebody who's saying the name has no impact. How do you call your child or death? Your name is death. Your name is death. Your name is death and expect your child to live long. How do you expect that? Because your words are life. Remember, words, when you speak, you are creating. So if we call you death, death, sillo, walla, sillo, sillo. How can sillo be happy? I'm sorry, there's no sillo. <laughs> but honestly, we need to start asking ourselves this question, Sorna. How can sillo be happy? And then we expect sillo to smile, and we are calling him sillo. It's the same thing. And, and in most cases, we just give names. And I'll tell you, even in the Bible, there are names that we pick from the Bible because they sound nice and we give to our children. And those names, they carry another meaning. How do you call your child Dinah? How can you call your child Dinah? Where, where do you start? Because Dinah was raped. Gang raped for that matter. And the brother said to revenge for the rape of their sister. And then when you hear the name Dinah, Dinah, and then you are calling her Dinah, and the next thing, the child is getting raped, and you don't know what. How do you call your child Jezebel and expect her not to be a witch? <laughs> but Jezzy, Jezzy. <laughs> but what is your name? My name is Jezzy. You can call me Jesse, Jezebel, but Jesse is still Jezebel. So the spirit of Jezebel goes with the name. God does not just pick people without, if the name is bad, God will always change your name. He will, because he knows who Jesse, you can call it Jesse in English, he's still Jezebel. It can't work. If you call your child if, don't be surprised when they don't last in their marriages. Because the tendencies of if, they follow if. <laughs> so, even if you pick a name from the Bible, you need to then ask yourself, well, why this name? Do you understand? It's, it's so funny how our African people just call us names. If you go to where I come from and you hear the names. How do you even start and call me Kalina Lanoyan? Why do we even do that? Because I believe that when you have given birth to a child, when you give the name, you are speaking, you are prophesying, you are declaring over the life of this child. You are declaring. And if you just give because you loved the name, you are creating problems. Pella, some of the problems we are facing is because of the things we have. It's because of them. And maybe we need to start thinking about 
checking these names. When I was growing up, we knew that once we get saved, we will change our names. 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 We will change and they tell you straight, no, we can't have that. And they will give you a meaningful name, whether it's in English or it's in Zulu or in Venda or in Pedi, it doesn't matter. But your name must carry meaning. Because if it has no meaning, so the devil will give it a meaning. Some of us are given names of flowers. We don't even know what that flower is. And, and we need to start understanding so, our black people are being wise now. When we give people names, we check. We give them names that have got meaning. But unfortunately, they are names that we inherit. We took these names. And this name has been moving on in the family for the past 10 generations. In some families, only Peter, in the first, second, third, fourth generation, only Peter all the time. Peter never dies. When this one dies, Peter comes back. He continues living. And the ailing name, Ibadin name, Kurmoya Peter Utsana Mobon, Patsa, Babar, you at our son of the Raholoi, Hava Kabila Pud, Nayama Mominago got tipa, so nobody was coming in. And we see the tendencies of that man in this person's life. What is your name? Nike Snopolush, I had to ask Gorna. Maina atwa kai. Kakuma na uli ina leba mpile nilo na kila kuku. Ubi ayo nabi ala strong. Bara anwile ni arroba la anakwa. Uta di wana fru. Ene anwile ni arata uwapela. Ura anu tsara plaka. Abakwa kaya ena isa yeta. Elele we elele. Hey tsuang! And I'm sure if I was not born again. Nelitlo kwa kanna. Yeah, Neleta Aguaki Tamola Gerguye Ujesulo Waeko. It Vugan Vugan. Because it comes from the genes, it comes from, yeah, it, it comes with the name. And that's when you start understanding this name, I don't want it. And I was very clear, I don't want this name. You are not going to call me this name, that's why you don't even know it. Because it's not my name. Yes, I had to say, I don't want it. Even on my ID, I don't want it. It's not my name. I am refusing. But I can tell you, even today, when I go home, and they mean it. Yeah, for them, boom, but I renounced that name long time ago and I'm never going to allow anybody to call me with that name. Because I know what, and you also check how they die, you find that the second person died the same because of the name. So there's something that I want you to understand. There's nothing wrong, and this is where we miss it, Anji. There's nothing wrong in giving your daughter somebody's name in the family. Nothing wrong. No, there's nothing wrong in saying, because my grandmother's name was John, my daughter's name will be John. There's nothing wrong. But you need to know what you're doing. Because once you say his name is John, because the grandfather was John, and you don't even understand this John was always in prison, you must know that what you're doing, you are saying this one will also go to prison. So if we are going to stand and say, if you name your son after his grandfather or grandmother's name, it's sin. It's not true. It can't be true. The issue is, do you understand what you're doing? Do you know what you're doing? Because what you're doing, you're saying, the very same character, I want it here. Because, I mean, it happened in the house of Judah. Was that sinful? No. For Tamar to keep on being there in all generations, it was not sinful. The issue is, the spirit of Tamar went with the name. After somebody who passed on. Yes. My name is Fanisa Kentani Makwangela. I was named after my dad's grandmother. Uh, so, so when your dad sees you, Urkuku? Yes, Umpijakuku. Uh, 
urmukhe kule in fact urmukhe urmukhe kule vela mukhe kuluile kuaphile so at first kile ka babujisha gore and lead the way like baspelang lina laka in tsonga lina laka they would write it f a n i s a but what if i then can you do like a joke but i guess i don't know maybe joke about naya tusha then by ngwala f a n e double s a okay so kababujisha because when you finish are you comparing that is oh, yeah, the funniest yeah, you're comparing what exactly are they comparing i don't know if kanedi that was what they thought but you know one of the way one never in aganang was ki legacy ya mogekolo so o mogekolo now that i think about it me <laughs> It's funny, Lady Loje like Kidi Ratang. I am very reserved. I get it. Yes. <laughs> so, yes. how was he? I'm not sure. Asanga ka putsha papa ka ka yona. And mama ka udula astresa. Yena unya ka pampitsa ka my first name, but the older I get, ki prefer my second name, Kensani. Cuz there I feel like kina le mo meaning I yeah, I'm more attached to that one. Sure. But also, Murudi, speaking of names, Lady Senim gidi name. So, is there any way to disassociate from Senim Yarao? It's very tricky. Honestly speaking, when you are black, Matata <laughs> Ogiamanchi. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Only black Matata Ogiamanchi. Because these names, if you check how they got these Senims, they would name them after what they were doing, what they like to do, and so on. Uh, and it started, and the generation started. So it's very difficult to disassociate. But in most cases, your name, your name. Because if you check, most people in the Bible, they didn't even have say names. They didn't. But your name that you carry everywhere you go, I think is very important. But I know people who change different say names. Yeah, I know people who change their names because the things they were dealing with, they required them to make a serious turnaround. They change their names. I don't know. Okay. So, you are happy with Ufanis? I'm okay. You know, maybe like River Ganum Puja, like Ganit or Tashlila, like when I was born. <laughs> then maybe I'd be like, but the older I get, I prefer people that call me by my second name. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Any other person? Amen. Amen. Na ava name ka moto, mama ka unti lady makatu because haki muti sa witare irle heba tena na kula kuselvon heba tena ka gita spetel ebe na ketlachela. So that was the ex first experience. Ardi makato teki di bonante. Hey, di antos. And then es kinti ke kola. So kona limo isela ne kinti ke experience hadi lote ding di mo makat. Mama ka arno libito le inge kisa ofalon. Kar my mom was born again. And ko hire hule ka tapel. Mama ka oton na matapel. Libito lela di makato lele tali di makato tse di ngrale kante. Yeah. Eh, so mama ka nambita matape. Ene ota makala. Eh, muruti. Yeah. Enka di bolela di eh di makato tse aseto on. Kela wo. So things happen. Uno pira lo eno ah. Ugare kaba di makato tse di right. Kaurungwa na di makato tse di makato. Aye lingwa niana uno di makato. Ele me chama ne de no problema que é isso. Eu, quando o dia é em mim, I know one de magat who was pregnant. Aba, I I expect ele, mas o dia vai ser que vai morrer. Mas pela lei não é só para saber o número pregnant. I expect ele, mas não, o nariz de chest pains. A vida agora me está metendo em tudo, mas não corre, não é útil. Me regular de magat. Por magat. 
Amen. Amen. Uh, Mina, my mom said she named me after her aunt um, who passed on a few, a few months before I was born. And uh, she was a nurse. Very educated, warm, caring, loving. Uh, yeah, he spoke positive things. So I wish I, I would have met her. Um, but I have another name um, which I changed when I got born again. Um, it's, I was called Sesinyana. So everything about me was just little things. Everything, small meat, small everything. I'm always left behind. <laughs> I was just always left behind. I'll always be the last one. It, you know, so, but when I got born again, um, I would say really God changed the name because he never called me Sesinyana. He would always call me Agnes. So that's when I had to start introducing myself to the family. I had to work very hard to introduce myself to the family, to say, I'm Agnes, I'm Agnes. And, other, and the family will get confused when people call me Agnes in the midst, like at church. People, at church, people will come and say, Agnes. And my aunt will be like, who's Agnes? You know, because they know me as uh, Cecinyana. But now they call me Ceci, and they sort of cut off. For them to be comfortable, would still be satisfied with Cecinyana. They just call me Ceci, Ceci. Yeah. That is true. I mean, you can't be nyana, 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 but you get big things in life. No. All right. Thank you. I don't know how to put it. Abari upila, ar upila nyana, ing ing nyana, nyana. Kaswa na kona lika mukhaba ibitanga ting. It it means something beautiful nyana, mbopi nyana. In in Yan, I think that, that's what they meant. Nyana Ela Nyana in Ali or Cassizulu, but still, still, Sky Dumel or Pila Nyan. Eh, look at some astronomer. Yo, 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 yo. Okay. Okay. Yes. Um, uh, when we were growing up, from my father's side of the family. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> my father's side of the family, they believe so much in, in ancestors. And to a point whereby we even have Ndumba in the house and all of that. So. There's this other day, my grandmother, my father's mom, I fabana mayina. mayina, but uba from the ancestral part or whatever. And babafa, 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 babafa. They were like mamrut. And I'm trying to get Who's mamrut? There's no mamrut. For the longest time, it bothered me. To this day, it's still bothering me, Hore. Why was I given mamrut? Because Babang, they took names from Bo Rangwani, whom we don't know. My older brother's name is um, Muzamani, and we don't know Muzamani. Muzamani passed on Ilungwa, Nakashuka, diabetes, and what of what. But when they came to, they were like, Mamuru, then it stopped there. And I'm trying to check how the name had an impact, although I don't believe what that's my name, because it's nowhere close to being my name. I've always been at church the whole time. Because I came to church alone, and I'm sure that you remember. <laughs> I came to church alone from the youngest time. I, I, I don't think there's a church that I didn't go to. Ibile, my children, was making a joke. Are you? When this church started, I used to attend Yam Kukunyanamo. I like because I went there for sweets. I would come here. I've always been at church, so, but I'm still shocked why Mam Ruti to this day. Yeah. <laughs> You are following your name. So let's not conclude things in the beginning and yeah. while it's still early. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Hey, who knows? Because we're not saying about you, and again, you've got so many more than Do you have any comment on Facebook? Okay. 
Let's hear your names, uh, people from Facebook. Um, there are many comments that I see here. I see Malibaja. Or thank you so much for the greatest teaching. Okay. Muremi, or interesting message. You remind me of the birth of John. Yes. Tebo, uh, or the power of names. Yes. Uh, okay. We need to know your names. Yes. Nothing like you can quick kitchen. Uh, how my baby, but she may fail. Okay, so Mama Kelena Wanyana knows. So I, yeah, I toil. Magarawa, or to go get it to Wanyanak, our salon Wanyana knows. Go get to shoot little or go get it. Yeah, Harabajama. Okay, so this name comes from the fact that you uh, get it. I thought Kokejo Utla, if Ilibanyana fella and they're expecting a boy and then you just come, Lele Bashimani, it comes. Okay. But is it working for you? Because I'm going to check. Eh? Look on the rope. I go, okay, come on. Look on the rope. Look on the rope. Go get it, Jenna, and Bella, Go get it, Jenna, and Bella, so everywhere we know about Bashimani. Okay, so watch here on top. <laughs> okay, any other person who wants to say something? What do you feel? Uh, what do you think about your name? No, it's not actually concerning my name. Eugi story is saying fail. Um, nekinyo ko tal shan te murutiyori um today. But ba fakir ba fa ba na ma ina amaraid. Um, asi asi niti biyalo biyalo, because ba fa ba na lina tabiso. Kona le linshiga mumra, so kona lina le lina liliti. Ba na ba na le ma ina mangha peka mol, mangkoroshi, mangwatu wat, marlena liti li something beautiful tabiso. Okay, so mama mama are you writing? Ah. 